Hey everybody, welcome to a crazy new awesome thing. We are going to play some scrolls, but we're going to try some new test server stuff. Um, I'm probably not the first person to get to this, but this is Judgment. Judgment is essentially a miniature draft. The way it works from what I've read in this thing is that it's a solo draft, so you're given four scrolls to pick from. You're then picking what you think is best for your deck. Uh, you do this 45 times so that you end up with 45 scrolls total and then you build a 30 scroll deck that you'll use to build or to play against other people with their 30 scroll judgment decks so after five games with a judgment deck it gets deleted but after a certain number of wins so if you win five times with with that deck you end up with four rares if you win four times you end up with three rares um, Three wins is two rares, two wins is one rare, one rare, and then one win gets you an uncommon, and no wins with that deck, you just get an uncommon, or a common. So, essentially, it's just uh, a way to get practice uh, with scrolls, with new scrolls that you don't necessarily have. Um, currently, the cost is one gold or one shard, but I'm sure that's just test server prices. Uh, so, let's stop. figuring it out let's get into building a deck so judgment we're going to build a deck because I have never done this before so I'm going to use gold to purchase okay so oh look and I can see sort of what's coming up as well so looking at this we have a Meyer Shambler an Iron Whip a Sisters of the Fox and a Proximity Charge now typically in these draft formats which is what I'm going to call this because that's what people are most familiar with in Magic. You prioritize removal, then creatures. But I think in scrolls, creatures act as removal, so that then creatures become a higher priority than, say, straight removal in my in my brain. Um, but actually, the first thing is bombs. Bombs, crazy, crazy awesome spells like Quake or... Um, um, I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, Imperial resources. So in this instance, if this holds, if this holds as as the sort of the path that we're gonna get, I can see a kinfolk veteran down here as one of my next picks coming up. So I'm gonna go for the sister of the fox and try and at least stay um, focused on growth for now. Um, we'll probably have to branch out into a second color, but if I can, if I can pick up some good growth stuff um, that'll be good for me so I'm gonna there's 45 of these so I'm I'm gonna make some of these picks quicker than others obviously veteran is is the key here where the these others are are interesting but not great um, we get into a more interesting situation of whether or not we want to decide what our second color is and that tool initiates a, a fine body probably in this format but an eternal statue is probably just as good um, at helping pr protect us and then we we don't have to yet branch out into a second color um, part of me wants to yeah part of me wants wants to maybe look at order because we have a crown of strength and a wing soldier coming up which are probably fairly decent um, so it might be a growth order deck is, is what's in store so we'll say eternal statue now, the Elamir Hunter is really good and probably good in this format. We just have to decide whether or not it's worth going into, and it seems like there's probably other things that we want to be doing. Um, so I'm going to go Crown of Strength, Wing Soldier. Um... This one's a little trickier. I don't think Elan Vital is that great. Atrophy is an interesting scroll, buys you a turn, but I think Obelisk essentially does similar things. Yeah, we'll say Obelisk. We'll go for Kinfolk Jarl to uh, focus on growth. And we end up with a Quake, which is good. So this is shaping out pretty well for us. Yeah, Quake seems to be our best option. Now, Potion of Resistance seems 
it seems like it would be a good scroll here, either Potion Resistance. Tick Bomb will probably also be good because you'll have more people playing um, statues and walls. Um, I think I'm going to focus on Eye of the Eagle so that it'll it'll make it so that I, I can focus on getting better creatures or drawing more creatures more consistently. Hmm. Noati might actually be interesting here in that his ability might be relevant. Um, Stagheart, it, I don't know if we get enough, see enough scrolls to justify a Stagheart. I like Languid as well. We could sort of dip into Decay because really we're looking at our other, other um, options in order. We have Crown of Strength, Wing Soldier, Obelisk. Is that really justify that one going into that resource? Hmm. I think I'm going to pick Noati here, though. I still, I'm not actually certain how this uh, format plays out as far as time frame goes, is whether or not I have the ability to go go into, say, um, five decay and you know seven growth or six growth, whatever it may be. So I think I'm going to stick with Noati here. I'm going to just concentrate. Um, another Eye of the Eagle will be fine. It'll get me essentially another creature. Now we have a tick bomb again, which will probably be pretty good, and we see a burn coming. As well as a blinding rage, but frost scale is nice as well. Um, hmm. But then a sin mark zealot and a flip um, could also be good tricks. And flip is also in the colors that we already have, sort of as our secondary color. Hmm. Yeah, we're not even halfway through though. We would have, so we we could still potentially, and we can't scroll here. I just tried scrolling. Um, so we we do have some versatility here. Um, hmm. It's decisions like these I don't think that are too terribly important because there's just not they're not super powerful and impactful cards. I think flip actually might be the choice because it sort of functions as a tick bomb in some instances where it moves it moves a defending unit out of the way or a defending structure out of the way um, or into the way hmm I think I like bear paw here burns very good I don't want to underestimate burn but I see a imperial resources down here that no there's there's no way you're getting to seven Imperial Resource, I don't think, makes the cut. Hmm. I do like Bear Paw. Mangy Wolf would be good if, if we knew we were going to see more wolves. But I don't think you can rely on those kinds of synergies. Hmm. I also like Summons, but really that doesn't... That just is essentially a worse version of Eternal Statue or Obelisk. I think this pick doesn't, well, let's see, creature count wise, we're really light. We have technically one, two, three, four, five. We have five creatures and a 30 card, 30 scroll deck. That doesn't seem great. That makes me think Mangy Wolf's a better option, but Burn is just so good. Hmm. I think we take the mangy wolf here. We're gonna go for the mangy wolf here. And then we'll pick up a frost scale. Hmm. Imperial resource is a great scroll. I don't know if we'll be able to cast it though. Whether or not we can get up to seven order or whether we'd want to get up to seven order just for one imperial resources. So that makes me feel like maybe transposition is a better scroll because it can trips into more useful things. Harvester would be good if we were going decay, which we might actually switch that. Mm. We've let a lot. Mm. So one thing you don't want to do, which is what I'm currently debating, is put yourself in a position where 
you don't follow through on a strategy. And by that, I mean, we've picked up these order scrolls, some, some okay ones, essentially like Winged Soldier, Crown of Strength, and Flip are fine. We're looking at a third resource uh, at potentially, we did um, we did stick to uh, Mangy Wolf here in Frost Gale. Now, whether or not we go to Decay, which seems like we'd have a good path here, because we're gonna we're gonna have some dry spots. It looks like if we don't if we don't go into Decay, and you know another obelisk doesn't seem that great. A callback or a Frostbeard doesn't seem that great, but this line of Harvester, Rod Eater, Rod Eater seems pretty good, um, and it's reasonably costed, so getting the three decay doesn't seem too terrible. And essentially, it it means that we we sort of miss out on this Crown of Strength, Wing Shard, Wing Soldier, Obelisk, Flip. Like if if we go into decay here, we're we're essentially cutting order. I think that's fine. I think I'm actually okay with that because the bodies we get. One of the things I'm noticing is that we are low on creatures, and so a big a big wall of a creature would be good. And then these two rot eaters would probably get get pretty big and be hard to deal with later. So we're gonna go harvester. We'll take a look at what comes down the pipe next. Mm. A charge quill, huh? A charge quill could be interesting, but I don't think it's what we need to be doing. And sometimes you just look at, like this stack here probably isn't going to produce anything of value for us. I think the decision here is between Languid and Rod Eater, but we're, we're hard up for creatures, so we're going to go Rod Eater. Um, Rod, Eater Rod Eater will win the day here again. Uh, Frostbeater just seems too fragile. But looking down here before we make our pick, Shroud of Life Arthritis, a Rally. A Rally will be good. Double Rally will be good with our um, harvester, so that'll be a nice combo. Um, so we go Rot Eater. Shrine seems all right as an option, but so does Charge Coil. But I think we're we're definitely out of of energy at this point. We we've passed on a burn. We've passed on a lot of stuff. We're getting close to having made half our picks. So it's either going to be whether we think Pillar of Fatigue, which I don't actually enjoy playing. I think Shrine might be our, our pick here, if we can keep it alive. If we go into order, will we rally for tricks? There's a second Staghart, so that's good to know that that you, you can potentially see a second Staghart. A Binding Root would be good, a Pseudo Removal, an Old Crone. be an interesting defensive wall. I think we'll go Staghart here and maybe maybe we'll get lucky and see a second Staghart. Um, I, do, I do like the concept of pseudo removal though. Mm. Just sort of keep somebody out of, you know, if they have some big bomb you just give up a lane to to let them die. So maybe we'll do that. We'll do Binding Root. Um, so this is where we definitely, I think, push towards the decay. Damning Curse seems good. And that, that, that'll put us in a better position, I think. Um, and looking down here, uh, we don't see a lot of order coming up. We'll probably grab either a Ragged Wolf or a Mangy Wolf. And then uh, Sisters of the Fox. Maybe an Infective grave lock, Infected Gravelock instead of these wolves. Hmm. We'll see, but we'll definitely do Damning Curse. We'll Fertile Soil, that'll be nice. So it's between Infected Gravelock, Ragged Wolf, and Mangy Wolf. I'm less worried about attacking quickly and just having a bigger body, a more resilient body. So I think it comes to Infected Grave Lock and Mangy Wolf. And really to get, I'm, I would be paying two more here for an additional heal ability um, and, mo and mobility. I think we'll go Infected Grave Lock here. We'll say Sisters, Sisters of the Fox 
will will be this one. Yeah, because it just draws us into more stuff, into that this great fertile soil. Now, wing shield would be good. Spark would be good. Blessing of haste would be good. I think we. leave ourselves the possibility of going into order here with this wing shield. I like vitality well. I think the heal effect will be nice to maybe negate to either our frost gale or daemon curse. Another sisters of the fox. I wonder if there's a cap on those. Hopefully not. So we'll grab another sisters of the fox. <laughs> This is tricky. I don't think I would play Miasma well. And we're definitely out of energy at this point, even though we've seen a lot of charged coils, that would be good. Um, we're getting to the point where we're seeing enough creatures, though. That's nice. Um, let's see. What do we have for playables? Out of 28... I think anything that's been growth is more or less going in. Hmm. hmm. How many order do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five, six order spells. So if we were to put every growth and decay in, we'd have 22 growth and decay spells. I think I'm fine with I think I'm fine with taking a, a spearman just in case we have that wing soldier or the wing uh, wing shield it seems like spiky will be good in this format uh, but we'll take a mangy wolf here because it's on color light bearer seems good so we'll snag one of him interesting position um, we don't we won't splash for these there's just not that kind of time um, a rumble a loyal loyal darkling another rally will be good mm -hmm. we can get a nutrition nutrition we could potentially use for a puppet soldier combo if we get a puppet soldier soldier mm. a rally I think is our choice here Rumble, Crone, Little Darkling. Rumble would be nice to shake things up. Ha 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 ha. Um, I've never played with Crone. Maybe I should try Crone. It just seems like it doesn't do enough for you. No, I think I'm going to go with yeah, Loyal Darkling. It gives us some range. Hmm. I think I like Draining Mist here, because I, I think we're firmly in Decay. Ooh. A Tethered Recruit would make it interesting, so we could splash some order. So we could do that. Illithorn might make it. Probably won't. Probably None of these picks will probably make it in. So we'll go Illithorn. Uh, Ragged Wolf here. It's on color. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Um, whether or not we take Brother of the Wolf or we go for Rat King, I think is our pick because we need bigger bodies. We don't really have a way to capitalize on, on, on the, the rats that come out with Rat King. And we have ways that punish that in in the form of like Quake and Frost Gale. So I think we'll go for Brother the Wolf. We'll pick up the Beast Rat. Just, eh. I could see maybe playing a Focus. Um, a Shambler. Yeah, Shambler's fine. Oh, wow. Well. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll take a Shambler just in case. Um, two good Decay Scrolls, but a, a really great Growth Scroll. It's going to put us in Growth. Um, another great Growth Scroll, Kinfolk Brave, is super valuable. Probably in this format, in this format. Um, an Oblivion Seeker might be good. Oh, we're down to it. Um, yeah, we'll stay on target. Oblivion Seeker, actually, let's see. Let's count our growth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, maybe. 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have like definitely 20 certainly playing growth scrolls. It might just not be worth it to play to go super into another color. And maybe we should take this Kabonk here. As it will help us draw into other stuff. Magnetizer seems interesting, but it seems like they just can find a way to deal with it. But my thought is, if I have ten must pl or ten ten pretty good growth scrolls, going up to five for an Oblivion Seeker just seems like it would be a waste of your time, and that maybe it's better to play cheaper stuff like Kabonk. Hmm. So this is the first time I've do I'm doing this, by the way. If I haven't, if I haven't mentioned that already, um, so I'm really unsure as to the best line of act, best best way to build on these. Hmm. One, two. We gotta make a. We gotta make a pick. Um. Whew, tough. Uh, let's say. Let's say, let's go for it. Oblivion Seeker it is. And then uh, just a metamorphosis, that's fine. Well done, now build your deck. Okay. So then let's get the growth in there for sure that is going in. I think those are the 20 I was thinking of that were auto includes. Now there was other stuff in there, but but you see we have 11 decay and 9 order scrolls. Hmm. Now our order scrolls are cheaper, sort of twos, a lot of twos. Um, but I think our decay is just better. If we sort by cost, like this guy, and we could actually play splash a couple uh, cheap cost order stuff with this tethered recruit in it. Yeah, and we could go a focus. And then, binding root would be good, pseudo removal. Let's see, or we could take out focus and tethered recruit, put in statue and maybe a nutrition 
nutrition would help us sort of get up to maybe yeah uh, yeah I think nutrition might be sneaky enough we have some bigger stuff that we may or may not want to play 17 creatures seems all right with um we're actually 19 creatures I think this that's what we'll submit yeah no Adi could be good it just doesn't produce exactly what we want it to that seems greedy the going into order seems greedy I think this is a tight tighter deck What are we missing? Okay, so these are the only two things we aren't playing in growth. That seems fine. I do like draining mist though. Because there's not really a good way to cheat around it. Focus. Sort of this flip and focus. But then really that opens up wing shield as well yeah I feel if it feels like we're light on anything it feels like we're light on creatures but I'm on on cheap creatures but I'm just gonna trust it all right let's save this thing um, judge call jug one so, yeah. Great work. Now to begin, hit the judgment button on the arena. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ah. Hey, Blinky. Is that. Oh, I must have missed him. I'm recording. Alright. We'll play a match. We'll look for a match. Alright. I'm going to. Do the movie magic thing while I look for a match. See you guys in a bit. Huzzah! We're in the queue. Okay. So, let's see how this goes. Interesting hand to start with. Um, I think we pitch nutrition here. Pass the turn. I think your goal is to get Kinfolk Brave out as quickly as possible, which would be next turn, and then then get into a up into up to a Great Wolf. Ooh, Gravelock. Um, I feel like this is this will be too slow. The curse. So we're gonna go. Put down a Kinfolk Brave. Boo, okay. So we no longer fight on that lane. Um, slide down, put a Sisters of the Fox in play. Ooh, okay. Um, maybe we just stay out of decay for now. Cast Eye of Eagle. Yeah, okay. That seems all right. So, Wing Shield, okay. Ooh, um, Oblivion Seeker seems slow. down a brother <sighs> looks like we'll be able to just erase I mean we'll go great wolf next turn and then rally next turn rally the turn after um, if that's the case we might just want to let uh, keep our guys alive so we might need to just stay away from his team 
So we'll just push over. Yeah. This keeps this sort of keeps our our guys alive. Oh, Rangers Bay, dang. All right, so we have a quake. We'll hold on to that quake. Um, we'll move out this kinfolk brave to make room for our great wolf. We'll pass a turn. That brave will die regardless. So, I mean, we don't have a way of saving it. Ooh, um, I think here we pitch the Sisters of the Fox to draw two scrolls. Just to see what we get. Oh, interesting. Um, so let's do that. Let's put out a... So instead of rallying here, we can put out a mangy wolf and then rally the turn after. Or we'll we'll do this. We will rally this turn. We will summon a wolf. We'll move him over so we can start hitting that waking stones. We will push the sisters of the fox over. The brother of the no. The brother of the wolf will come over, but he'll go in the middle, and then we'll cast a rally. There we go. And we can start to move our way up, essentially. Ooh, a kinful veteran. Um, part of me wants to quake here, which is odd, but we, we will not quake here. We're going to... Hmm. We're gonna cast the Eye of Eagle. And mangy wolf. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we need, we need a sack for our turn still. We'll sack. Wow. Sorry, guys. Amateur hour here. Okay. Seems like a good position to be in. Or not not great here. We'll take take some damage, but or we might lose some of our team. But that's okay. Oh, that's a neat icon. Do you see that fertile soil came up? And that was what happened to it? Huh. Okay. Um, so we're going to pitch the Eternal Statue, I think, to get to six so that on that, our next turn we can play out the Arl. We will summon a wolf. We'll summon it here. And then we'll move our team up. And we'll 
cast the rally. And that'll take a good chunk out of that idol. This idol will be dead. So now he's in a tougher spot. Transposition from back, okay. Infantryman, okay. A champion's ring, okay. Whew. Um, so we'll pitch this blight bearer. And our goal is just to keep the great wolf alive, I think. We'll move these units up so that if he wants to engage with them, he has to go up to do it. But really our goal is just to keep our Great Wolf alive. Which I think we can do by putting that Jarl there. So if we have Great Wolf and Kinfolk Veteran attack next turn into this lane, Because he won't be able to actually move these units out of the way for fear of losing this lane, I think. Okay. Oh, another wing shield. All right. Ooh. Um, let's see. Does Rally win it for us right now? Uh, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't think Rally wins it for us right at this moment, so. Quake would be really good, though. It just wouldn't be good enough, I don't think. I think I need to do more damage first before I quake. Well, let's do this. A rally is going, a rally will do more damage than this Kinfolk Veteran will do. I think we pitched the Kinfolk Veteran. That'll work, okay. So then we put down, we summon a brother, or summon another wolf, cast rally, we binding root that guy, and that was a bad move, but what do you do? All right, that seems like it was okay. It could have been better. I think we could have just won there because we could have moved that brother of the wolf back. That was dumb. Oh well. We're doing all right though. We're not so bad off. Uh, Vitality well, we'll pitch. Uh, cast the fertile soil. We'll put the Sisters of the Fox in front to protect against Magnetizer. And then we pass the turn.
yeah, I definitely, definitely could have won there. Oh well, maybe I might have been off. Yeah, I feel like I feel like had I moved the Jarl into the front lane, I would have been better off. But oh well. That's pretty good. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna look for something better. Or we just we have eight we could cast. I'm debating whether I take out his team here or the idol. I think it, I think if I can take out his team I can take out the idol anyway, but I'm a point short as it stands. So I'm going to pitch Rot Eater. There we go. Okay. So then four, five, six, six, and four. Yeah. Okay. So that does it. We just needed another wolf. Okay. So that was an interesting game. I think those are fun. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely like the format. I mean, it's it's something new. There's variety to it. Um, I did. I really feel like I drafted a very strong deck, but more of that was reliant on the scrolls we drew. Um, than it was the the play skill. Obviously, there was a lot of misplays there you saw. But yeah, interesting, interesting uh, format. Um, I'm definitely going to try and do more of these. So sorry if that was weird, long-winded. Sorry if you no, I'm not sorry. That was that was a beautiful art thing that I did. Okay, I'm back to doing this now. So <laughs> you guys are great. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Hey everybody. Uh, so this is what happens at final judgment after you play the the deck five times um, you end up getting to look through all of the scrolls and you get to keep four so probably rares would be good um, you know whatever whatever you want to get how about that But this is what the screen looks like, essentially. So let's take a Fertile Soil. Sure. Huzzah. So we just got a Fertile Soil. Um, let's get a Damning Curse. Actually, this is important to keep in mind if you're trying to rare draft, say, um, you, you see um, some stuff in the Judgment Draft. If you, if you want it as an option later, you're gonna have to pick it for your deck, so um, so keep that in mind as you could play with. Oh wait a second. And scroll. Let's start. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. It's only things that make it into your deck. So this is this is just the deck I played. So not only would you have to pick it, but you actually have to play it. So you can't just rare draft. So that's interesting. Okay. Let's get a fertile soil. Let's get that rot etar peak. Let's get the quake. There we go. And then we add scrolls. Huzzah. That was interesting. All right. Well, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Till next time.